Hello everyone, Brick Warrior here, and today, instead of showing you how to build one thing like the last video, which was all about pumpkins, I'm going to show you how to build three little things. This white pencil, which in America is apparently yellow, but you can replace these things with yellow pieces if you want. A sign to use in your stop motion. It's a Christmas tree with snow falling around it. And this toaster that makes waffles and pizzas go flying. For some reason, pizzas can fit in there too. Anyway, you might have noticed that these aren't the same lights that I've been using. It's because my brother stole it for a stop motion that he's making. And yeah, he wants to make his own YouTube channel eventually. So you can look forward to that, a new YouTube channel from my brother. So let's get into how to build these things. Anyway, let's move these things to the side of it, and let's talk about the pencil. I don't know where you live at the moment, but normally these pencils are usually yellow. Or you can just imagine that it's yellow. But I, this is really good for like writing, and there's your eraser. Anyway, let's get into how to build this thing. These are the pieces you need to build the pencil. So gather up all those pieces and I assume you have them now. All right, to start off with this piece in black, also the three white circular things. You can also try to find three of those in yellow to get a yellow pencil. All right, so first we're gonna take the light pink stud and put it on the bottom of that. And basically take these three and you can either just go ahead and stack them all on top of each other or you can take them like this and just put them on there or you can j just take the entire stack of them and put them on there. And boom, there's your pencil. The only thing about this is that there's that little black part that you can see at the top, but that's not really much of a big deal. I think it or I think it works really well. But if you you can always like instead of putting them on the way you can put them on this way and have the pencil like that but I just think it looks a little bit better the other way I don't know just have it however you want it to be pencil all now let's get on to the Christmas tree shall we these are the pieces you need to make the Christmas tree sign ish thing. I don't know. The things on this side, the colors on these don't matter. Just make sure they're see-through. And these, where you're going to put the sign, make sure they match the color of the base plate or just have them in some kind of gray. This, you can have it in any color blue. It doesn't matter. So let's put all these to the side except for three, three pieces. So first you're going to take these one by threes and put them on the back, but make sure that like one stud is sticking out so that you can stick it down. Do that on both sides. Here's the front, here's the back. Attach it to a 4x6, some kind of blue plate. 
so next grab a brown one by two cheese slope or two one by one cheese slopes in brown will work for the base of the tree then take some of these I don't know what they're called slidey things and get two opposite ones and put it on each side like that you can kind of see the tree look then take your colored circular see-through studs and just stick them on the tree wherever you like. Hmm. I think it uh, makes it just look a little bit better. Then take your three white studs. You can add in more studs if you want. For the snow, just stick it all over to just to add that falling snow look. And there you go. Also, to put this in a stop motion or for display, to put it in the stop motion, you can just stick it in between studs like that. And when it matches the color of the base plate, uh, I don't know, it just looks better to me. Now, Apologies for that being so long. Now I get to show you how to make the tester that flings waffles and beats. Let me take this apart. So I should say there's quite a few pieces to this, but just get all these pieces. The only one We'll basically just get any of these pieces in any color. You can have two pizzas, two waffles, or just a pizza and a waffle. Or if there's any other food pieces that are like this. If it has a circle in the middle, it doesn't matter. All of these pieces, preferably in the same color, and just get two one by two pieces with buttons on them, or just get a two by two p plate, a smooth plate with buttons on them if that piece exists. All the pieces color doesn't really matter. Just get whatever you want. So the start of this. You want to get all these pieces away except for the 4x4 four four plate. Then take some 1x4s and stick them on each side like that. Then take a 1x2, put it in between. And then take a jumper plate, if you can, in the same color of that one by two. That way it looks a little nicer. And then the color of these two jumper plates doesn't matter because they're going to be covered up like completely. Just make sure they're not like bright colors. Otherwise, they'll stand out. Okay, so that's the first level of this. So what you want to do is take this piece, like I showed earlier. It doesn't have to have the hole in it. It just has to have the little hole in the top. To hide those holes, you just put it like that. You don't really notice it that much. Then we're going to take 
a one by four brick in whatever color and put it right there. Then take your one by threes and fill in those gaps. Then take a one by two brick and put it on those two jumper points. And that's the next level. So next you can put another one by two on that other one. Then you can take some one by fours and put it on each side like that. Then take your remaining one by twos and one goes here. And why we have that hole there is so that that can go right in there. And look at that. Boom. That's the main thing. But now if we turn it just over a little bit, take this in any color. If you can like dark gray, then put your two button, two one by one by two tiles, I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, tiles. Or a two by two tile with buttons all over it. Then, just to make it look a little bit nicer, we're going to add in some plates. Put a one by two plate, two one by four plates, and then finish it off with a one by two plate. If you can't find this in dark gray or just get in the same color as all these, it makes it look a little bit nicer, but I just couldn't find one. It still looks pretty nice. Alright, that little, those two walls that we had earlier, that's for the thing that makes the, okay, the waffle and the pizza go fine. So take two of these pieces, it can be in the same color or different colors, like I have. Then attach one using this one by one plate with a hook on the top of it. Then take a one by one plate with a hook at the end of it, facing this direction. And then connect it. Then attach the other one to that hook. And then like make it so it like pinches them. Like you can do like that with it. Make sure that it just pinches like not too much but just a little bit. Like that. Then as you can see it won't go in. So you want to kind of bend it apart a little bit. That way it's stuck in there and it won't fall out. Then we want to take our waffle and pizza and stick it in and ready, aim, fire! It works pretty well. <laughs> this I think is about double me fixing. And if you don't want to fire, you can have it just go up a little bit. And it sticks out a little bit. But if you like bend it down a little bit, it'll like come up more. So it can like bend down and you can take them out. Or you can just go crazy and just make them fly out. Pretty cool. And that's everything. A double May figure pencil, a nice little picture of a Christmas tree, and a double May figure scale um, toaster that flings things out. Fling, 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 fling. I really hope you enjoyed this video.
make sure to subscribe and check out my pumpkin video that is one of the most newest ones. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! These are the bloopers. Bloopers. These are the pieces that you need. Oh, goodness, I completely messed that up. Ah.